Hi guys, and welcome to Studio One with me, Gregor. So in the last episode, we already talked about how to set up MIDI controllers and keyboards in Studio One. And today we're gonna look at external instruments, particularly synthesizers like the ones behind me. We have a really awesome new workflow for these in Studio One 5, and I wanna show you that right now. Let's go. If you want to sequence and control an external synthesizer or drum machine from Studio One, you're going to need to connect it via USB or MIDI to your computer. What you also need to do, and this is something that many beginners aren't aware of, is connect the audio output of your instrument to your audio interface or mixer as well. Because otherwise you're only sequencing your instrument, but you won't be able to capture the actual result in your DAW. In a digital world full of virtual instruments, it's easy to forget that audio and MIDI are two very different things in the analog domain. Don't worry though, because I have some great news for you. Studio One 5 now offers a true single track workflow for external instruments. This makes them almost as easy and convenient to use as virtual instruments. Let me show you how it works. Let's take care of the MIDI side of things first, which enables us to send notes and control data to our external instrument. From Studio One's start page, click on Configure External Devices and then click Add. You can now add a new instrument device. Enter the manufacturer and device name on the right and set the Send To port. Please note that instrument devices do not show up in Studio One's MIDI input list. So if you want to not just sequence the instrument itself, but also record notes or send control data from that instrument into Studio One, then you will also need to add the instrument as a new keyboard or control surface. I've shown how to do this in my previous tutorial, which is also linked in the video description. So if this applies to you and you haven't seen that video yet, then please go and check it out first. Go ahead, I'll wait. You're back? Awesome. If you've set up a new keyboard device for your external instrument, then here's one more thing that's really good to know. In the settings menu of your external instrument, you have to set an option called local control to off. This will essentially deactivate the direct connection between the keyboard and the sound module that it's triggering. If you don't do that, you would end up hearing everything you play twice, once triggered from the keyboard and once from Studio One. So that's just a side note. Let's continue setting up our instrument. Tick the checkboxes Send MIDI Clock and Use MIDI Clock Start if you want to sync the arpeggiator, sequencer or any timing based effects of your instrument to the song tempo. With Studio One 5 you can also do it the other way around by the way. To do this you'll need a MIDI device that can send MIDI timecode and then you can assign it in the synchronization tab of the advanced Studio One settings. Now that's really cool if you have like an SSL console or an old drum machine or if you perhaps have two separate computers and you want to sync one to the other over the network. And that's wrapping up the MIDI side of things. So let's talk audio. To actually hear the external instrument, we need to connect the audio output of its sound module to an available input on our audio interface or mixer. We also need to assign this input in our Studio One song itself. And to do this, open up the song settings and head to the audio I.O. tab. Now you can click on add mono or add stereo depending on the nature of your instrument and then name it and label it with the color you want. Then just tick the input that you use to connect your instrument and you're pretty much there. In previous Studio One versions, and in every other DAW for that matter, you had to handle MIDI sequencing and audio recording for your external instruments in two separate tracks. But in Studio One 5, as I said before, you can do it all in one. And to do this, you simply click on the external tab in Studio One's mixer section and assign the audio input that we just added. Make sure to save this as the instrument's default configuration so you only need to set this up once. And now you're pretty much ready to go to sequence and record your external instrument. The rest is truly child's play. Go to the instrument section in the browser, open the folder labeled external instruments and drag the instrument into your song. That's it. You can now play, sequence and record your external instrument just like you would with any other virtual instrument like Mai Tai, Presence XT or Impact XT. The only thing you have to consider is that you will have to do a real-time export because your instrument is not rendered inside of the computer. It has to be recorded from the outside world into your song live. Other than that, have fun and thanks for watching.